Hey guys, this is Jay Sharks here, and um, today I will be demonstrating a software, a, an encryption software, by the way. Um, uh, it's called Safe House. I'm not sure if any one of you heard it before, but it's one of these encrypt free encryption softwares out there that you could use to encrypt um, your files and secret documents whatever you want to keep a secret from others um, it's very useful um, and it's portable also it has a portable uh, version um, but um, let's get down to it here yeah. and there is the interface as you can see I'm using safe house explorer which is the portable version yeah um, if you want to create a new volume, you could click here. Um, create safe house volume. Um, safe house stores your private files in large container files, better known as volumes. Volumes are protected using secure, secret passwords and advanced encryption. This wizard will help you to create a new private hiding place for your files which can later be accessed using your password. Your existing files will not be touched. <coughs> Let's click on next. And to create it, um, hmm, this is where you create your file name for your encrypted volume. Um, you, uh, you, you could choose where you want it to be saved. Um, yeah, and um, a description for it, if you want, that's optional. Um, you could create an ex a description for your volume. Um, just click um, next. And this here you can see it says size your size of your private um, storage area. Please select the starting size for your safe house volume. Here yeah, uh, you could go as high as gigabytes. You could create any number of where whether it's megabytes, gigabytes, whatsoever. Um, I'll for this demonstration I'll be just using 10 megabytes for instance um, this is like to resize your volume if you know um, and click next here you can make a, a password there um, just be just a brief reminder um, I'll say not a reminder, but um, you would want to create a password that that is um, strong, um, like um, it's you know uh, contains up to eight or more characters and has symbols, numbers, letters combination, um, a mixture of upper case and lower case, something like this. That's what this helps make your encryption volume hard to crack. Oh, and just a reminder, uh, well not a reminder but as well, but um, your encryption default encryption will be two fish, two five six bit. Um, if you would want to change that encryption to something like AES, for instance, well, you would have to install the uh, trial professional version, and that way you could change it to whatever you know to whatever encryption suits you best. But um, let's get down to the password. Um, okay, I'll just be demonstrating here, so. Uh, and next, uh, this is optional as well. Create a desktop shortcut to this volume. I would just untick that. 
and then you create volume. And it's finished. Um, uh, let me just close this. Um, okay. Um, as you can see, I just finished creating the volume, and um, I'm about to open it. And this is the option to. This is the uh, button to open it. Um, and it'll be there it is, right there. Safe house. That's when I left it. I left it like the name like that. But anyway, um, just click open. It asks for the password. Enter your password. Oh, one more thing. Just be sure that um, um, if you forget your password, well, you you know it. You could just forget about the access and your data because basically it's you know the encryption is very strong. So I mean, unless you want to try a brute force attack or a dictionary attack on your own um, volume and just to get it back, well, you could. But that may depend on your password strength. That may take like months or years or more. But yeah, just make sure you re you remember the password or write it down somewhere safe. Okay. Uh, created it, um, the volume. Um, my volume label is right there. That's the properties. Encryption is 2FISH256. Two two uh, format is FAT. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, maximum size. Uh, uh, as you can see, um, pretty much set up. Oh, and just to be, uh, if you want, if you don't see properties here, what you could do is you could go and edit. Um, not edit, I mean view. Um, go on docking pane, and then tick this for what it says properties. Mine is already ticked so you know I don't need to really tick it again. But yeah. Um and that's pretty much it. Um you know if you wanna um drag and drop folders into your um encrypted volume you could drag it right there. Like uh for make an example here. Um, uh, let me see this it's the size of this. Oh, that's a little too big. Um, I'll try. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll try to drag uh, something in pictures. Um, as an example, and then you just take this, drag, drop, and it's already in is an encrypted volume. It's uploaded there. Um, and if you want to close your volume, seal it. Well, you could click this button. It has to close it. If you want to open it back again. Just click on that button, open volume, uh, search for your volume, um, click save files, or whatever the name is, enter your password, um, and there you go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Thanks for watching guys, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay, bye.